Good morning, YouTube. Today is March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. I got my little uh, shamrock pin going on here. Look at the Irish to you and all that. Um, not really Irish as far as I know, but eh, what the heck. <clears throat> Alright, today I'm going to talk about four different types of backpacks that I have used on my bicycle and uh, pros and cons of each one. All right. Let me give you an overview here. This is a. Uh, we'll go over this. It's a little, very lightweight backpack. Uh, this is a over-the-shoulder type bag. Uh, regular backpack and uh, sling type single strap pack. All right. So, let's start with this one. I got this for free from uh, National Wildlife Federation because I sent them a donation and they sent me this little day pack thing. slings over your shoulder like this and you carry it here. It is very comfortable as long as it's not too heavy. It's very lightweight material. It's got a pocket here and a big pocket and a water bottle pocket. Um, this works all right if you're walking. I mean if that's the size pack you want. Um, yeah, I've only used it a couple of times. I, I don't know. I don't really like it. And it definitely doesn't work on a bicycle because when you're leaning forward, this thing won't stay behind you. It comes and gets in your way. All right. Not good for a bicycle. I don't really know what it's good for. <laughs> I just kept it because <laughs> eh, I got it for free. So, what are you going to do? Alright, so, not good for cycling. This little thing, I got this on eBay for, I think, $5. I love this. Because, as you know, I have that piece of luggage on my bike. All right. And I made uh talked about that in a bicycle video if you want to see more about that. Anyway, <clears throat> cuz I really don't like wearing a pack. All right. But sometimes it's necessary. Sometimes when I leave home I don't know if I'm going to have extra stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that sounded really stupid. <laughs> I don't always know when I leave home if that bag is going to be enough. All right. Sometimes I might want to pick, pick up some extra things that, that don't fit in that. Or sometimes when I leave home, I'm carrying something that won't fit in that, but I'm dropping it off somewhere, and so when I come home, if I were wearing a backpack, it would be empty, right? <clears throat> Along comes this. Sketchers, I don't know what that is, sneakers or something, but this is just a nylon bag with straps sewn on. It's a drawstring top. You put it on, you got a little backpack, a little lightweight backpack. All right. And it's fine if you're not putting a lot of stuff in it. And it's really cool because when you don't use it, 
you can fold it up really, really small. And it takes up almost no room. All right, and it only weighs maybe two ounces. Very cool. Excellent bike gear, in my opinion. All right. As long as you have something like that to keep your tools and your locks in. All right. You don't want heavy stuff in this. It's not going to last. All right. <clears throat> Number three. This is a regular backpack. Um, I guess it's like a school backpack. The bottom is reinforced. The straps are padded. It's very comfortable to wear. It holds a lot of stuff. Put this in there. All right. Still, plenty of room. All right. And it's got this smaller flap on the front. That's a pretty neat pack. And it's very comfortable to wear, even if it's kind of heavy. Even if you have, like, ten pounds of stuff in here, it's very comfortable, and it will hold it, because this is, this is thick material. All right? You can cinch these up. You can hang things on here. Yeah. This is a good pack. Sometimes it's bigger than it needs to be because you don't need to carry all that much stuff on a, on a two hour bike ride. All right. Um, also, one drawback with this is you can't access anything in the pack while you're wearing it. I mean, unless you're like rubber man and you can get your arms back there, you have to take it off to get things out of it and to put things in it. All right. Okay. So, you know, that's a drawback. Number four, the single strap teardrop shape. I see a lot of cyclists wearing these and so I wanted to get one to see what it's all about. <clears throat> this, I put like five pounds of stuff in this and rode around with it and it is comfortable. The strap is not padded. You can get better ones. Um, this is just a cheap one. OT on tilt. It's a poker logo. I don't really care about that. It's got a cell phone pocket here on the outside. And it's got this little pocket. It's very styling, right? With the angled zippers and all that. Quite a bit of room in there. You could get you can get a couple full-size textbooks in there. You can get a jacket in there, easy. It's got a thing for hanging on the doorknob or whatever. Anyway. Wear it like this across just the one strap. It rides nicely on the back. It does move it does want to move this way a little. You know, so that's a little annoying. I wish it didn't do that. But, whatever. <clears throat> the biggest plus to this is you can stand up to this, I guess. You can get to the pack without removing it. You can pull it around like this. You can open the zipper, get things out. <laughs> Open this zipper, get into here, sling it back around. You don't have to take it off. <laughs> that 
is a huge plus, in my opinion. All right? Easy, quick access, and it's back on your back. All right? That is awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, if, if you've known about these for years, good for you, but I'm, I'm excited because I never had one before, and I never realized the accessibility possibilities of this. <laughs> and I will probably get a better one with a padded strap, because I really like this. All right. Okay, so, very good for a small amount of stuff, like up to five pounds, I'd say. Very, very good for cycling. This is the most comfortable pack I have for cycling, but it's too big most of the time. If I was going to go like on an overnight cycling camping trip, Perfect. Anyway, uh, little portable. I highly recommend you get one of these. And uh, unless you normally wear a backpack when you're cycling, then this is not necessary. But if you have a ba bag on the back of your bike like I do, this can be a lifesaver sometimes. And this thing, not good for cycling. Um, Maybe good for like a four hour hiking trip, but honestly, I would take a backpack instead. Alright, there you go. Just my two cents on four different types of bicycle packs. <laughs> Alright, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Peace.